congestion and long delays have become part and parcel of the great British bank holiday. But if you think things are bad in Britain, then spare a thought for the good people of Madrid. The annual exodus causes real chaos, and not just for a Friday afternoon, but for three whole days. There are 19 million cars in Spain, but the annual tourist invasion pushes that number up to a massive 50 million. Now, traffic volume at that sort of level creates all of the inevitable problems. Last year, in July and August, there were 15,000 accidents and 1,000 deaths on Spanish roads. In a bid to improve the city's accident record, Madrid's traffic department has introduced a fleet of helicopters, equipped with onboard helicams, to record any evidence of reckless driving. Caught in a tailback on a stretch of single carriageway, this driver turns the hard shoulder into an improvised fast lane. By the time he realizes he's being filmed, the damage is done and he's left looking rather sheepish. As well as recording all important evidence, the helicopter cameras also record the vehicle details for any subsequent convictions. The driver of this black Volkswagen was driving erratically and speeding along these treacherous mountain roads. Listening to his car stereo at full volume, the driver hadn't heard the helicopter's loudspeaker which publicly warns motorists of their driving offences. He was suitably shocked to discover that he was a fair cop. Meanwhile, police in Copenhagen were alerted to this green car being driven recklessly through the city centre. The driver of the vehicle was a thief making his getaway in a stolen car which had already lost its rear windscreen in an earlier accident and was now heading for more trouble, ignoring red lights and travelling too fast on the approach to this junction. At over 50 miles an hour, the thief shunts another motorist, smashing the car radiator. But despite this setback, he continues to cause mayhem. Hoping to lose his pursuers, the thief makes a series of late-breaking manoeuvres. But the police officers realise that his plan has backfired, and instead, he's led them into a dead end. Now, it's simply a matter of time before they get their man. Sure enough, the thief dumps the car and tries to get away on foot. He's quickly arrested and later charged with theft and dangerous driving. This moment of madness comes from Denmark. Having nearly decapitated a member of the public sat at the roadside, the driver of this Mitsubishi was playing cat and mouse with these police officers. After twice pulling over but failing to stop, the police had seen enough and pounced as the driver dutifully stopped at this traffic light. Failure to stop is an offence under any circumstances, but pedestrians using this zebra crossing in Helsinki had a particularly nasty surprise. Oh, 
The driver of this red car was later fined £500 and was cautioned for dangerous driving. The pedestrians got off lightly, but what if it had been a child? Fortunately, this motorist had his wits about him, which was more than could be said for this cyclist in Sweden. This Dutch police motorcyclist certainly had a surprise in store. After a quick lesson on the highway code, this distinguished old gentleman seemed unperturbed by his near miss. <laughs> Meanwhile, two police cars in South Carolina had an altogether more serious problem as they pursued a stolen vehicle being driven recklessly at high speed. Travelling at over a hundred miles an hour, the driver had lost control and crashed into a cement bridge. But amazingly, he survived this wreckage to face charges. Colliding with the bridge is a somewhat unconventional way of ending a pursuit. More common is the use of the Stinger deflation device, featured recently on police camera action and seen here being retracted following a deployment in Finland. The driver of this car was a murder suspect who'd failed to stop despite repeated attempts by police vehicles to force him off the road. Despite driving with three punctured tyres, which by now were producing sparks, the driver continued to terrorise other motorists before the police finally ended his reckless rampage. The driver was charged with 25 offences and was sent to prison for life. This pursuit in Los Angeles took place along sleepy suburban roads where police were chasing a known drug dealer out on parole. Not long into the pursuit, the driver opens his door to dispose of the incriminating evidence of drugs and cash. Unfortunately for him, his actions were caught on camera. He then decides to have some fun with the roadside litter bins. <laughs> He's crashing in the trash can. The driver finally decides he's had enough and signals to pull over and await the inevitable outcome. Getting into a car and putting the seatbelt on now seems the most natural thing in the world to do. In fact, it seems quite extraordinary that it hasn't always been compulsory, which of course it is now, right across Europe. But here in Spain, although seatbelt use is increasing out in the country, in the city, only one in four people wear them. And when the police pull drivers over for not wearing a seatbelt, well, the excuses are inevitably pretty shallow. The speed I was going at didn't really warrant wearing a seatbelt. I keep stopping, so it's just inconvenient. And some people say, well, I just find it uncomfortable. The simple truth of the matter is there are no excuses. Whatever speed you're travelling at, whatever the circumstances, wearing a seatbelt can save your life. Police officers in Holland were amazed to discover not one person in this family saloon was wearing a seatbelt, despite travelling with four children and tailgating the car in front. Tailgating is dangerous enough at any time, but utterly crazy in wet conditions like these. This driver makes two mistakes, tailgating the trailer and cutting up an unmarked police camera car.
The reckless driving of this motorist earned him a heavy fine and an instant response from the Dutch traffic police, who did not take kindly to this manoeuvre. Still in Holland, police came across this speeding Mercedes driving somewhat erratically. The driver received a hefty fine for reckless driving and speeding at over 200 kilometers an hour. That's more than 125 miles an hour. Tailgating between two vehicles can easily develop into what's known as dueling, with rival motorists competing to inconvenience one another. These motorists in Finland can clearly be seen overtaking and immediately braking in a potentially lethal game of cat and mouse. These two drivers were filmed on a motorway in Holland, where their high-speed jousting threatened both themselves and their fellow motorists. The driver of the blue van was the villain of the piece, seen here deliberately slowing down to force the green car into evasive action. Undaunted, the blue van was speeding after its target when the police stepped in to make an arrest. The driver was fined and banned from driving. One of the great attractions of Spain, and Madrid in particular, is this wonderfully relaxed attitude towards socialising. The combination of the warm weather climate and much more liberal licensing hours makes for a very different drink culture to that which exists in the United Kingdom. But with the drinking going on throughout the day, and often well into the night as well, the temptation to drink and drive is a constant threat. This British drunk driver in Spain thought he was still driving on the left, and inadvertently joined the wrong carriageway along this stretch of motorway. The police are quickly on the scene to make an arrest, and the tourist was unceremoniously removed from his car and dispatched to sober up in the cells. This Danish driver had drunk double the legal alcohol limit, which might explain why she was using the wrong side of the dual carriageway. The legs hanging out of this car window belong to a Danish youth who, along with some drunken friends, was enjoying a Sunday afternoon drive. The driver was later arrested for reckless driving. and police in Finland were alerted to this car being driven by a gang of drunk teenagers. And Danish police officers thought they'd discovered a case of motorised hiccups, but later discovered an inexperienced driver stuck in first gear.
Like any great European city, Madrid has its fair share of rush hour traffic problems. But unlike many other European cities, the traffic police here in Madrid have introduced their own ingenious solution. And this is it. It's a Carril Vehiculo Alto Occupazione, or a high occupancy vehicle lane to you and me. Only buses and cars with two or more passengers are allowed to use the lane, which stretches for 16 kilometers between the city's two main carriageways. Monitored from the traffic control room, the lane can operate in either direction. Into the city during the morning, the traffic flow is then reversed for the evening rush back out again. Now, in order to qualify to use the lane, some motorists will even stop and offer lifts to people waiting at the bus stops. But with heavy penalties for any solo motorist using the lane, well, this communal spirit is perhaps less surprising. This motorcyclist had no respect for the rules. As he smashed his way through the barrier with total disregard for the no entry signs. As he made his way along the bus lane, operators in the control room closed the gates to prevent any other motorist from following his example. Meanwhile, the police had been alerted and were lying in wait for the motorcyclist, who was later banned from driving. Anything you can do, I can do better, or so this driver seemed to think, as he too tries to force entry into the bus lane. This time, the gates close automatically, leaving the driver stranded under the barrier. Confounded by this situation, the driver persuades his wife to get out and lift the barrier, whilst he escapes by reversing back out. This he does, but too late. The car details have been recorded and the driver was later fined for his embarrassing misjudgment. Motorists, it seems, like to go where they're not supposed to. This Danish driver was caught using a cycle lane. The rider of this moped was caught by both a camera car and a camera bike, as he too sped along a cycle lane. And what about this cheeky Danish postman who decided a shortcut along the pavement was in order to complete his morning delivery? Finland again, and keep your eye on the white car turning left. Same camera, different day, as the black car does a U-turn in the square. It's not every day that you see a car drive by carrying a 50-foot mast on the roof, so officers decided to follow this precarious arrangement. Once they'd seen enough, they ordered the driver to report to a testing centre for a closer look. Although relatively stable, the mast clearly constituted an unroadworthy load, requiring a distance of almost 70 feet simply to turn around. Mobility is just as important to Madrid's youth as it is to their British counterparts. But here in Spain, the moped is king. Cheap and versatile, it's often seen as a safe alternative to the motor car. And it's certainly a lot more flexible in a city renowned for its triple parking. With a top speed of a little over 30 miles an hour, some riders treat their mopeds as a bit of a toy and take quite unnecessary risks. Helmet wearing is obligatory 
but it's cool to ride bareheaded. The moped was only built for one person, but they do like to give their friends a lift. And of course, all the young dudes like to show off to impress their peers. Not surprisingly, mopeds account for thousands of accidents every year, and the traffic authority's hard-hitting campaign warns youngsters against taking liberties with these seemingly harmless vehicles. Helmets are indispensable on motorcycles and scooters. Get it into your head. A hot sun and an open road is a tempting combination for many motorcyclists and makes Spain a popular destination for roving enthusiasts. These two gentlemen were filmed deep in conversation as they rode to abreast using this single carriageway with complete disregard for other road users. Police officers in Holland noticed this laid-back biker riding one-handed at almost a hundred miles an hour. Shortly afterwards, the car in front forces him into a late-breaking manoeuvre, but his gesture of defiance earns him a heavy fine. There were fines too for these motorcyclists, who chose the wrong place and the wrong time to demonstrate their acrobatic skills. The rider of this moped literally put his life on the line. Police officers in Denmark were intrigued by this rider and passenger combination. The rider of the moped seemed reluctant to stop, despite being urged to do so by his helmetless passenger, who was carrying a container of petrol on his knees. The police officers pursued the moped along this bumpy country lane at speeds over 60 kilometers an hour, before the rider saw sense and was persuaded to stop. But motorcyclists aren't always the villains. In fact, this biker was the victim of this intimidating and antisocial driver. And finally, the rider of this moped was clearly the worse off for drink as he snaked and swerved his way home. I'm tired and I want to go to bed I had a little drink about an hour ago And it's gone right to my head no Drinking a bottle of beer, he seemed unconcerned about the traffic around him. So the police pulled him over to prevent any further damage. You'll always hear me singing this song. Show police camera action returns next Saturday at the same time. Tonight, Reckless can be seen at the later time of 10.25. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. I had a little drink about an hour ago. And it's gone right to my head. No matter where I 